Hi, Ken Rolla from FreshAndAlive.com. Here uh, once again to share uh, answers to questions that we get by email and phone from people. And so um, today we've got a couple of questions. Um, one is, uh, is there any fruit that is okay to eat while detoxing? Okay, now why would a person ask that kind of question? Uh, if you've seen on some of my previous videos, I talked about uh, philosophies of healing diets and there are uh, some people like Dr. Robert Morse uh, at GodsHerbs.com who use a high fruit diet for healing and they've, he's had great success for about 40 years with that. And then you've got other people like Hippocrates Health Institute and Gabriel Cousins at the Tree of Life Rejuvenation Center who use a diet high in greens and chlorophyll and low in sugars and carbs. Uh, and so, so there's developed, particularly in the live food, raw food community, this polarization of like one way is better than the other and this one's wrong and that one's you know, right and that kind of nonsense. Uh, and it's not true. You can use all of them to heal uh, and to maintain health. So there's a perception that eating fruit is bad, uh, particularly, you know, like at Hippocrates Health Institute, when they've got cancer patients, they know that sugars can feed the pathogens that contribute to toxins that contribute to cancer. And so therefore, they've seen in their own testing, um, not conjecture, but actual testing of, the, you know, the clients that they get, that when people eat fruits and sugars and anything that's converted to fruit and sugar in the, in the gut, like breads and pastas and grains, uh, alcohol, all of that stuff is converted to sugar in the gut. And it feeds the factors that go into cancer. Uh, some people are under the impression that sugars feed cancer directly, um, but it really feeds the environment and creates toxins that feed the cancer. And so, however you look at it, though, you know, the bottom line is what results you get. And so, uh, so Hippocrates doesn't use fruit when they're, um, you know, putting people through their healing programs. Dr. Robert Morris does. Other people do. Dr. Doug Graham, for example, uses a high fruit uh, diet. And um, in my experience, um, I do a hybrid of the, of the two. I, um, when I'm doing detox programs and healing programs, I used to, I don't do consults anymore, but I used to when I did consults. I would put people on, and myself, on a Hippocrates-style diet or, or more like Dr. Gabriel Cousins uh, in his book, Rainbow Green Live Food Cuisine, you can look at that book, where it's high in greens and chlorophyll. But I also would use fruit after detoxing and doing a parasite cleanse and getting rid of some of the parasites. So, um, so when I'm doing a cleanse, I don't eat any fruit. I, I, you know, but then again, I'm, when I'm doing a cleanse, I don't have a major illness. And um, Dr. Robert Morris is used to dealing with people with life-threatening illnesses. And high water content fruit can be very, very cleansing to the body. It's highly ionic and it's high in antioxidants. And so it can flush toxins and waste out of the body. So if you're doing a program like his, you know, you can use fruit and um, it can be an effective method. I've just found personally, if I keep fruit out of the diet for the first few weeks, uh, or if somebody's really riddled with uh, parasites, maybe even a few months, and focus on chlorophyll and greens and still get the calories in the body with fats <clears throat> at the appropriate, in appropriate combinations, then um, I get better results. So when I go off and do a three week or a six week cleanse, I'm doing a Hippocrates style diet or the diet uh, like in Gabriel Cousin's book, Rainbow Green Live Food Cuisine. And I'm drinking lots and lots of juice, um, usually about a half gallon of juice a day um, green drinks, not fruits, not fruit drinks, um, doing a high chlorophyll diet, doing a lot of greens, doing a lot of sprouts, doing a lot of superfoods and a lot of ferments that I've fermented myself, um, and then doing herbal extracts to knock back parasites uh, and also detox and heal the glands in the body. Um, and then also for parasite cleanses, I'll use things like MMS, Miracle Mineral Solution. You can look at other videos and information I've talked about that or just go online and Google Miracle Mineral Solution or just go to jimhumble.is and that's J-I-M-H-U-M-B-L-E dot I-S, Jim Humble. So, uh, so, you know, I avoid fruit when I'm cleansing but you can certainly use it if you're doing the right protocol. So, you know, uh, listen to 
the practitioner who gets results. Robert Morse gets results. Hippocrates gets results. Gabriel Cousins get, gets results. I get results. You know, to me, all, results are all that matter. Everything else is just conjecture and blah, blah, blah. And there's a lot of blah, blah, blah in the living food and raw food community, mostly by people who don't have much experience and don't really know what they're doing. So look to the old folks uh, who've been doing it a long time themselves, who've been living it a long time, and, um, and you'll you know, and find your own truth with it. So anyway, there's my answer to the fruit question once again. And then we've got another question um, about earthing. I was wondering if you can use earthing products and scalar energy devices at the same time. Um, for instance, can you use an earthing sheet in your bed and the rest shield device at the same time. The rest shield is one of my little powered pyramid skater wave devices that puts out a field that de-stresses you and gets you into deep sleep and various things. Would there be some kind of interference between the two or would they have the same effect anyway so one of these technologies wouldn't be necessary? That's a really good question actually um, because uh, before I developed the scalar energy devices that I sell um, I bought some of the grounding sheets and I got into earthing and grounding and it's a great great concept and it's totally valid I mean it's been proven on uh, space flights uh, the astronauts in the United States and Russia both discovered early on that you know these space programs when astronauts get outside of this natural pulsing in the Earth's atmosphere called the Schumann resonance they get sick very quickly and they lose weight and they get all kinds of health problems very quickly some of it's due to anti-gravity, but some of it's also due to not being in the Schumann resonance pulse. Um, and so they wound up putting Schumann resonance um, devices on spacecraft. So all spacecraft, spacecraft now have Schumann resonance devices uh, to keep people uh, from getting sick. So I had the grounding sheets, and they worked just fine. I didn't notice any radical difference with them. Uh, at first, I did what they tell you, and I had my sheets plugged into the wall uh, in the, you know, the power outlet, and it was grounded through the, the grounding wire in the power outlet, and I didn't really notice much of a difference at all in my sleep, and I started studying it more and realized that the circuit of a building actually is an antenna for various types of electromagnetic radiation, particularly radio waves and things. So, so when you plug into the circuit of your house or your building, you're actually becoming a part of that circuit and you're actually becoming a part of that antenna. And therefore, you're not reducing the EMF. You may be increasing the EMF that you're being exposed to rather than decreasing it. So instead, I, I wound up grounding my sheets to a wire. I ran a wire out of the window into a copper rod, a grounding rod in the ground, and I hammered it down about three feet into the soil to make sure it was good and grounded and I grounded it to that and I did notice an improvement in my sleep then. It just felt like I was much more relaxed and, and much less stressed and that kind of thing and I slept better. Um, and then you know I wound up developing a device called the stress shield which uh, ultimately became the rest shield pyramid and these are both powered skater wave generators that put out a field that pulses at the old Schumann resonance, the original Schumann frequency that de-stresses people and it gets you into deep brainwave states so that you get into deep sleep. And what I found was that with that device, I didn't need the earthing sheets. I got rid of the earthing sheets and I never missed them. Um, and of course, the rest shield worked far, far better than grounding ever did. And so I just didn't find any need for it. So if you've got a rest shield or if you're interested in getting one uh, and you're debating about whether to spend money on earthing products or uh, a rest shield, I would spend the money on the rest shield, not just because I'd sell them, but because it works better. I mean, quite honestly, it does work better. Now, that is not to say that you don't want to ground and earth. Uh, you absolutely do, especially walking outdoors on the earth. Very, very important. But I just found personally that uh, using grounding sheets didn't have anywhere near the benefits that the rest shield did. Um, but, you know, sitting in a computer, I still sit with a grounding pad uh, when I'm sitting all day at a computer. And I also have a, a rest shield there. And I also have other organite devices and things that I've made that I keep around me. Because when you're exposed to the fields and stuff from computer technology, it's a good idea to have all the protection you can get. Um, and if I'm out and about, when I'm away from those things, I wear an EMF pendant. Um, but at any rate, that's my take on the grounding. Uh, I think it's very, very valid. I mean, there's heavy duty science from very reputable sources showing that it's valid and it works. 
And the reason it works is because you're a part of a galactic energy circuit. You know, I talk about this in other talks, but this whole universe is a big matter energy system. And you've got scalar energy coming from the centers of galaxies traveling through the cosmos and being relayed from sun to sun to sun to our sun and to the earth and then ultimately to us. And so this whole, this whole universe is a web of these singularities that transmit this energy or, or relay this energy. And our bodies also is, are full of these singularities, these black hole, white hole combinations. Uh, that's what the acupuncture meridians are. And, and uh, the DNA has these deposits of, my, of superconducting elements in the brain neural pathway. So you've got this whole web of singularities where this energy is being relayed. And so when you're, when you're in the Earth's environment, you're sandwiched in between the surface of the Earth and the, ion, uh, the um, um, uh, ionosphere. Well, oh, I'm losing my mind here. Uh, the ionosphere, which is the charged layer of the Earth's atmosphere. And so with all of these energies coming on the planet, um, in the Earth's atmosphere that we're walking around, when it's coming down to us, when you're out grounded to the Earth, you become a part of that circuit and that energy will flow through you and help keep you in balance and de-stress you and heal you and all of that kind of stuff. So when you're insulated from it by wearing shoes and walking around in buildings and things, you need to be grounded. So most definitely I'm, still, I'm a big fan of earthing. Um, I just personally think with the bed sheets that the rest shield works better. And uh, so that's my recommendation. Okay, so we're out of time. I will catch you on a later installment. And in the meantime, be happy and be healthy, and I'll see you later.